So I know some of you guys are having issues with light burn and cutting and tracing and things like that. And some of you are into this thing where red red uh, colors are used for cutting and black are used for rastering or engraving, but that's not how it works anymore, not on this program. On this program, any color can cut. Any uh, color can be assigned for different things, such as uh, a different power, a different hatch to make things look kind of 3 d or whatever. But I noticed that some people don't even understand the basics. So here's a couple of basics. Let's say I just want to do a car. I either want to cut it out in wood or I want to put it on, uh, let's say, an acrylic light. So I just go to the Internet and um, and I find a car. And so here's the car that I've picked up right here. I'm going to use this. Uh, let me back that out real quick. I'm going to use this car here. You can use any car you like, but some trace better than others. And this one here is probably going to have an issue with tracing. So I'm going to hit copy image and I'm going to come here uh, back to light burn. I'm going to right mouse click. I'm just going to paste it or control P. Spin my mouse wheel and I zoom in. And I just want to trace this. You can't do anything with this picture other than uh, if I do anything with it right now, it's going to think it's a picture. And so when you double click right here on this image, it's going to say, how do you want it to print as a picture? And you can pick these different ones, Stucky and Jarvis and all that stuff. But I don't I don't really do pictures that much unless I'm doing like on glass or something like that. So I don't want this as a picture. I want it as like clip art. So I'm going to turn it into clip art. So I'm going to right mouse click on the picture and I'm going to come down here and hit trace image. If you notice, and I'm gonna fade this image so you can see what it's tracing, it's missing out some of the highlights right here. It's missing out some of the wheels. So you move this slider up and down until you get what you want. Well, it's still not what I want. And what I found is a lot of times if you hit sketch trace and just start moving it down, you'll notice it starts to pick up a lot of the detail of the car. And I'm just going to leave it at, leave it at that for now and hit OK. So now I have a trace and I just delete the picture itself by hitting delete. So I have this picture now and I want to do something with it. Well, it's got a lot of things I don't need and it didn't do the tire too well. So I could probably go back and redo that. But for this video, I'm not going to. I'm going to right mouse click. The first thing I want to do after I click on it, you got to click on the arrow. I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to hit uh, uh, ungroup. Now I can click on this line delete it. I can highlight this and delete this. I don't want that. Now, if I want to see what this thing would look like, let's just say if I was going to raster it or just, you know, engrave it. And notice it's a red color. I just come up here to this little television monitor, click it, and it shows me what it's going to look like whenever I send it to the printer. And if you notice these lines right here, maybe they're not tight enough. So I'm just going to fix that too. So I'm going to get out of that. And I'm going to double click on this tool here on the color. And right here's where I can adjust that. If I type in 0 0.05, those lines should tighten up now. So I click off of it, come back up here, click. And I'm gonna open this window up a little bit better. And now you can see those lines are a little bit finer. So in other words, you're just changing the DPI. But what if I wanted to cut this out? I wanted to cut these out of a piece of wood right now. I would just simply change this to line. This is what I mean. You can do any color. So if I highlight all this information right here and I click blue, that blue is now going to cut because it says line. If I, you know, and, and as far as I'm going to take that, I guess, I'm, there's no need going any further with that. But let's say I want an outline of this car also. So if I just highlight this entire car and I'm going to, Go ahead and group it back together because it's ungrouped right now, which what it means is I can grab things and get rid of it. I can pull this off. I can color it a certain color if I want. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to hit Control Z and put it right back where it was. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is highlight the whole car. I'm going to right mouse click. I'm going to group it or you can hit Control G. And now I want an outline of this car. Maybe I just want the outline of the car. And here's how I would do that. You come over to this tool. And this is going to offset the shape. And if you notice here, it put a line all the way around that car. And I'm going to control Z, and that line's too far out for me. So I'm going to click it again. And if you read this, it says outward, inward, or both. I just want it outward, and I don't want it 
that far away, so I'm going to come in here and type 0 0.03, and I'm going to hit enter. And I noticed that this tire doesn't look quite right because it didn't look quite right in the beginning. So I'm going to control Z and I'm going to do that again. And I'm going to make it to where that tire looks right by making the number even higher than that. So I'm going to put 0 0.06 and it still does. Well, you know what? It looks good enough. I can fix that. I'm going to click OK. And we'll click on this line that I just made and pull this out. Because what I don't want is I don't want the insides of this. So I'm going to click on it, a right mouse click, ungroup again. And now I'm just going to simply grab the car outline, pull, pull it down like this. And then I'm going to highlight all that trash and just delete it. It's gone. Now what I have is I have a silhouette of the car. And it's not too pretty. This isn't too round. That's an easy fix, too. I just click right here. And I can come to my note editor here. And now you see how this isn't round. So I can hover over the top of that node and hit D and it rounded it off. Same thing here, D, I'm deleting, it's what I'm doing. I'm not hitting the delete key because if you hit the delete key, it's gonna do something else. I'm gonna highlight all of that. As a matter of fact, watch what I do here. I'm gonna highlight all of this, I'm gonna hit D. And then I'm gonna grab this line here and I'm just gonna pull it down like that. Now it's probably not the, what I want, but it's close enough for now. You can see that. And I can do the same thing with this front tire. I want to a reference of where I'm at though. So I'm going to click this line here. I'm just going to try to draw a line just to give me an idea where we're at. So I don't forget where the bottom of that tire is right now. So this line is just for me to use as a reference when I delete all those nodes. I'm just going to move it right over here towards the bottom of that tire, just like that. Now I click right here and uh, I click on those nodes again, like this. And it, that looks pretty good, actually. But I'm just, just to show you one more time, I'm going to highlight all those nodes and hit delete. Now I'm going to simply pull this tire back down. And you notice this, these little nodes right here, these handles, are kind of making the tire look kind of funny. So I'm going to pull that back down like that. Maybe pull this one over to this direction a little bit. Pull this one over this direction a little bit. So you can manipulate these nodes. And I like that, I'm gonna stay with that. Now I'm just gonna go back to my cursor and I'm gonna get rid of the line I no longer need, delete. Now you notice this will cut out and this will cut out, but I don't wanna cut it out. I want this one to be a black silhouette. So I'm just gonna click, I don't know, this orange. And this time I'm gonna tell it to fill. So when we go look at it on the television screen here, you see this is what it would look like. If I wanna cut that out, being that I have feel right now on that, I just simply come right here again, click this, and I change this to maybe 0 0.02, like that. And now it's gonna cut that car out if I click this orange line, and I change it to blue because I got blue set up to cut. And I don't want it to cut first, so I'm gonna move the blue line down like that. See how the blue moved? This is the order of operations right here. Now when we go back to this, you can see that it's gonna cut that car out. So I could quickly make a lamp out of this. The bases that I have for my lamps are uh, 72 millimeters, 72.5 millimeters wide or so. So I'm gonna just make a rectangle just like that. Now I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna right mouse click and I want to ensure that it's a path, convert to path. And I wanna make sure that, and I'm coming up here to the top. I wanna make sure that the width of this is 70 and right now i'm in inches i need to change that to millimeters it needs to be 75 point or i'm sorry 72.535 and that will fit in that slot absolutely perfect like it's just snaps in there and then this one will be 14.5 in depth just like that uh, i need to change this one back to 72.535 enter Right, so now this is the base of my light. My car is really, really small here. So I'm gonna take this car, move it out of the way for now. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna hit delete. And this is the one I wanna make a car out of, a light out of. So I'm gonna make this car pretty big. Control Z, I'll just group those two together real quick. Control G, now I grab this, pull them like this. 
and I want this to be directly in the middle of that car underneath it. So I click here and here, and then I come up to my tools at the top. I'm kind of circling it up here. I click this and I click align vertical center, just like that. And I want my light to be about that far off of the base, my car off that far off the base. So now I'm gonna ungroup like this. I'm gonna click on that blue line and I'm gonna click my nodes again right here. And first thing I'm gonna do is delete all these nodes right here, delete, hit D. And I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna pull it down just like that. Now I'm gonna hold my shift key down. I'm gonna click this rectangle here. Now that rectangle, and this I want to bring together. So I simply come over here and weld them just like that. Now they are one. Now I'm gonna highlight all these nodes right here. Delete, hit the D key. All these, D, leave these alone on the corners cause that's gonna fit inside your base. Delete. Delete. And there it is. That will fit into a light base and it will light up a car just perfectly. And if I wanted to, I could use that other car that we had and it would give the detail of the car. So I'm going to zoom in on that real quick. And if I wanted to cut that one out, that's exactly what I would do. I would just simply put another uh, um, line around it if I needed to cut it out or whatever the case is. So that's, that's all you have to do as far as uh, uh, objects you want to cut out or whatever the case. I hope that helps you out a little bit as far as how to use light burn for that. And then I'm going to make another video and show you some cool tricks real quick. If I can figure out how to stop the video, I forgot how to. So bear with me. You still there? Hang in there. Yeah, yeah, I found it.